and that's that's what I guess I don't see anywhere. But it is it is the you GCF. Don't see seven? Well, I see like a two times two question mark. I'm not sure, oh, but, it is, but it is seven. I haven't that's written it down. That's supposed to be a seven, but yeah. Okay, yeah, it is. It is seven. Very good. All right. Um, let me just look ahead here. Prime factorization. So this is a pretty short assignment. So we, we may actually be able to cover some other stuff today. We'll just we'll just start with number five, and keep working through it. Um, for number five, you got to build those three factor ladders. So I'd like you to try working those out. I'll do the same. Uh, so if you want to look at the screen, you can, but you got to do a factor ladder for all three of them. And um, the more organized you are, the easier it is to see if your answer, uh, see how your answer compares to mine and vice versa. So I'll, I'll be as neat as I can. So the greatest common factor is five. Yes, exactly. And uh, sometimes it's not clear until you've you know worked through everything. Um, yeah. You, you can kind of make a guess with this, but you can see how algorithmic it is. You just work through it the way we just just did, and uh, um, go from there. All right. So let's look at question six. So only two numbers here. Uh, same thing. We'll just work through this one. Uh, you know, separately. If if, uh, if you need to, you can look at my screen to compare. Uh, but uh, got to build two factor ladders: one for forty-eight, and one for sixty-four. Just move this down just a tiny bit. Let's see if I can get this framed a little better. All right, there we go. So forty-eight. Good reminder of your prime numbers off to the right here: two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, and so on. You do you do want to organize them in that order. I'm not sure if you're doing this, but you can actually you don't have to write them out horizontally. You can sit there and just look at the ladder, especially mm -hmm. when there's two. That's sort of an easier way to go rather than, um, you know, having to rewrite them again. Saves you a little bit of a bit of time. So, raised common factor would be. Let's see, two times two. Sixteen. Yes. Good job. Any uh, and you've been doing this for a couple of lessons now with me. Do you feel pretty confident with it? Pretty confident, yeah. Yeah, that's good. You'd be surprised how many students, you know, I, I ask them what the greatest common factor is and they, they have no idea what I'm referring to. So uh, these are high school students. So you're you're just way ahead. You're, you're already familiar with this, uh, this topic. All right, well, let's move to number seven whenever you're ready. Uh, prime <laughs> factorization. I mean, you're just building factor ladders. They just happen to be a little bit bigger this time. Um, so uh, since we've got plenty of time here today, 
Uh, can you tell me what 402 divided by two is? And 201. 201, good. Glad you could see that. When they're all even, the uh -huh. dead, you could just you just cut them all in half. Yeah, so just that's what I do. Shortcut. Now, for, two does not go into 201, but three does because mm -hmm. two plus zero plus one is three and three mm -hmm. is a multiple of three. But you may not know what 201 divided by three is. No. So, <laughs> So give that, a, you know, you've got to come off to the side here and you've either got to do your long division or you got to make a guess um, and, and kind of iteratively get closer to uh, to that. So uh, take a moment here mm -hmm. and see uh, see what you come up with. Do you have an answer for me on this one? Uh, no. I feel pretty high. Okay. All right. Um, assume you're working on it. I mean, it goes into 26 times. And then six, uh, three does go into 21. So um, let me know when you get that final answer. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Very good. Now, do you have your list of prime numbers no. up to a hundred? <laughs> you do not. Oh, that you got to have that. That's that's critical here, um, because if you we don't, haven't actually been given a list of prime numbers. Okay, so I always put them in the chat when we're working together. I would just get them down in my notebook because um, at some point, like even I don't remember them. I have to think through it. Um, yeah. 67 ones were it's like well, I don't know kind of looks like it might be prime but kind of might not prime. be but I think it is I, I believe it is and you can always go out to the internet and just type in uh you know list of prime numbers um, print that okay and, and then get that list here and 67 is is on the list okay yeah. so uh your your final answer is two times three times 67. Yeah, but you got to be on the lookout because, like, it, it, you know, if you got 57, 57 is not prime, even though maybe it looks, looks that way. All right, let's look at number eight. Uh, same thing here. We just build a factor ladder out of 740. Start with two. Uh, now, when they're when the when it's not all even, you can still use it on the even part, okay? But you run into problems with this this whole number, so you actually start with cutting seven in half to make three, okay? And you you you, you then look at what's left over as 140. Okay. And so you could see that there's 70 is, is the next uh, slice of that. If you don't like that or if it's still unclear, you, know, you can always go over and do the long division, um, but you wanna, you wanna get comfortable cutting numbers in half. Okay. We can do some examples of that here at the end if we've got some time for that. Okay. All right. Okay, so two does work with uh, mm -hmm. 370. Okay, so again, like because it it's now it's it goes in. You know, this is this is where it gets a little harder. It's like you gotta you either look at 70 or or three. Like I so mm -hmm. personally, I look at this as 200 plus 170. Okay, so the okay. the 200 it goes into 200. Uh, 100 you know when you cut that in half that's 100 and 70 cut in half is 85 and you add those together and get 185 and uh, if you don't like that you know go back and do the long division okay
And then 185 can go into that because three won't. But, but did you check that three? Like, does yeah, are you sure that three doesn't work? One plus eight is nine. Nine plus five is 14. That's right. Oh. That's right. But the five, but five works, uh, yeah, like five you works. said, because it ends in, but you want to always check three because sometimes you get, get there. Um, if you've never had to count nickels to make a dollar, you know, there's 20 nickels in one dollar. And that's, that's where the, understanding of the five comes in like like i know that 85 cents is is 17 nickels because i used to have to count them and uh with uh well, some of those are good exercises to to work with but you can also just do your long division on that um you should get this down to 37 though Be seven. Well, three can't go into that. So, is this a prime number? I think so. It is, yes. And there you have it. It's two times two times five times. 37. Okay. All right, uh, so let's look at, uh, so number nine is, is not even a, uh, it's just review, it's just a multiplication. Um, it's, Make sure we get, you know, get, get all your homework done. But as a reminder, you line up the numbers uh, and you can put the decimal in or not, but you don't line up the decimal, you line up the digits on the right. So you, you wanna have the, the numbers underneath each other on the right as far out as you can. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess it did there really, you gotta do it, I'll have at it, you know, and if you got questions, I'd be happy to answer along the way um yeah. but uh i'll uh, be happy to check your work if if you uh have a question okay Any questions on this? Uh, no, I'm almost done. Okay.
Okay, so I got four hundred and fifty nine point two two six zero. Oh, so close. It is it is four fifty nine, but the the last little bit here is off. So let me uh, let me work through it here and see uh, see if you can find your mistake. Um, it does work out. Let me just double check mine. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So six, uh, two with carry of three, uh, twelve. So you, so is this is this your first line? Fifteen two six zero. Yep. Okay. So the, whenever you get a zero, you actually don't need to do anything. You you can put a row of zeros if you want, but there's nothing to do there. So then the last this two, you're up to you're up to this this third place here. So two times five is ten. And then three, two times eight is sixteen, carry one. So is this your third line? Seven, six, three. No, because I got a six, six, two. Okay. So you start with so, you, you start with the two. Seven. Yeah, the two times five. That's the that's the ten. And then you put a one up here. Two times one is one plus one is three. Two times eight is 16, six, put a one there, two times three is six plus one is seven. And then it's just, it's so many zeros, but I guess that's why well, I'm losing track here. One zero, two zero, three zeros. Okay. And so you just put all the numbers in five, one, eight, three. Is this how your fourth line looks? Okay. So then it would be. Actually, you know what? Um, wait a second. Uh, yeah, I, I what, what was your original answer? Two, two, six. Yeah. Two, okay. two, six, zero. Yeah, you were just off. It's, it's, it's three, two, six, zero. So, oh, so close. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, you got to think of it like, what if this was a billion dollars, you know, and you're off by in the. You know, even in the first decimal place, that's the millions of dollars. Yeah. So you just got to be careful. Two, nine, five, one. It's a lost, it's a lost skill really to be able to multiply, but it is, it is important. It's, uh, but it, it's, I mean, you're not going to be asked to do this by hand. Um, much yep. more. Okay, so we got definitely enough time here to do the last one, and then we'll see if we can do some division by two type of problems. Um, you know, we haven't we haven't done one of these in a while, but the the second number goes outside the house, and the problem is is that number outside the house really needs to have the decimal move to the right two places. So if you move it right two places to make forty five, you have to move this to the right two places. And put a zero there. It creates an entirely new question, and you really want to um, rewrite it rather than try to work it out with all those moving pieces. All right. So let me know when you get up to here. We'll, we'll work this one out together. All right. Some time. So forty-five does not go into two. So you could put a zero there. Forty-five does not go into three, but so you you could put a zero there. But it does go into two thirty-eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is you got to kind of guess, you got to kind of uh, be like, all right, well, like, let me try five. So I know that 45 times five is 225. Okay. And I know that because I, I can quickly do it and you will too, but we need to make a guess. And that's a little bit too small, but that's good because 45 times six is 45 more. That's 270. So we know that it's a five above the eight. Yeah. Okay. Five times 45 is 225. You subtract and you get 13, bring down the zero. Okay. And uh, none of these numbers help because it's it's 135 isn't really on our list. So you kind of got to make another guess here. Uh, so I know like 45 times two is 90 and 45 times three is 135. So we know it's between two and three it's gonna be the two, it's gonna be the two. yeah and then you subtract again and this is where you got to remember to bring down the zero after the decimal okay so for 400 we don't have we don't have anything near big enough um 45 though 
uh, times nine, like 45 times nine might be good to try, but that's 405, that's too big. So we know 45 times eight, it's gonna be 45 less or 360. And so that tells us, oh, the eight goes there, okay? And then uh, eight times 45 is 360. And wouldn't you know it, you get 40 again. So you have to bring down yet another zero. And when you get, when you see the same number again, it's you, know, you know it's gonna be repeating. Yes, okay. And I'm not sure what you guys are doing in class. There's a couple of ways you could do this, but- um, They usually just go to the thousand and then round up. Okay. So the thousandth place is this third decimal. And that means you look one right to it. Yeah. You look to the one to the right, which means this one rounds up to nine. So you, 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 you say, oh yeah, that rounds up. So your final answer, I'll do it here, 52.889. <laughs> Okay. All right, so let me uh, stop the recording here.